How's it going guys? My name is Graham and this is the new game Mighty Fling, the latest in a long line of foddy like games. This one I would say is most similar looking to, oh this is just the menu even, this is most similar to Jump King in the sense that uh, it's a lot of vertical progression and has these very, you know, dungeon like themes. Uh, I don't, I can't quite even find out. There we go. We made it far enough to actually, actually start. Got to break our way out of the cage. Even though we're playing with, like, this very simplistic character. Get, get out of here. How do I, how do I just toss this cage away here so I can actually do something? Uh, <laughs> it's, it does still seem to have at least a little bit of a story. That's, uh, embarrassing. Oh, that actually seems to really accurately represent where you're going to end up with the jump. I like the effect of just the the ball long elongating as you as you throw it. There's some nice like stretch and skew animation type techniques. Uh, yet another flinger on his way to conquer the tower, the defeated flinger. Oh god. <laughs> but have you conquered yourself? What is this little thing here? I'll be seeing you. Uh, I can't believe I didn't drop myself way down on that particular jump. Was that like the the husk, the shell of a previously failed flinger? Oh, there's actually like enemies. <laughs> I don't know what to make of that. Like, if he's actually going to attack me, do I go for a visit? Bucks! <laughs> How did you manage to get out of the cage? Well, I just kind of bashed it a bunch. I should probably put you back in. Aw, oh, man, just see how this plays out. But I'd rather watch you fall. Oh, it's so tight. Over and over again. Oh, he's sick. He's just going to sit there and watch us suffer and fail. I hope there's some sort of checkpoints here. Ah, that one felt like I was overdoing it. You fell so hard, I thought there was an earthquake. He's a mean guy. At least you can just kind of bash yourself into the wall to stop that oh man you really limit yourself based on where you click and drag from mm, that was stupid if a fling seems unrealistic try jumping from the edge of a platform oh, so you have to really move yourself cautiously into particular corners I'm so used to clicking and dragging the actual character in anything like this uh, but I, I can I can click and drag from anywhere on the screen, so it doesn't really matter. Don't trust a Festus. Something I don't even want him dungeon. <laughs> Not a good guy. I'll, I'll keep it in mind. This guy, Bucks, is not my friend, but uh, he seems kind of neutral. He's not necessarily against my success. <sighs> you know you have to go upwards, right? Yeah, thanks, man. I, I appreciate the the support here. You're you're just a, a great guy. Oh, landing those is so tough. All right, right on the edge. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Big jump across. Should be able to do that again to the other side. No. <laughs> I've seen many platforms in my travels. Watch out for those red lines. They tend to disappear. Man, apparently you truly have to click uh, like the far side of the screen. Can I can I do that? I thought I thought I might hit that. Climbing is supposed to be difficult. Do not fret. Suddenly the flinger is has decided to be motivational. After <laughs> now I'm just trying to do tricky shots. Some areas have various paths for you to choose from. Select one that suits your flinging. I like that as a mechanic, that it's not strictly one way to solve things. I I imagine the game is keeping track of my individual flings. Like me and, uh, and Bucks here. Don't trust a Festus. Uh, I don't even want him in my in my dungeon. We, we got a quick fling over there. Had something special, at least I thought we did. Oh, is this what he means by the red lines? That seems like not that distinct. And I mean, they, if I just sit on there for a minute, 
Doesn't seem to be going away. Oh, I thought that might have been a little bit too high. I wonder if I could skip this platform and go straight for that one up here by the sun. Oh, this is totally the recommendation it meant about doing it from the edge of a platform. That's as much as I'm willing to, to squeak it to the edge like that. Okay. Let's climb my way across. Slow little movements. Big jump. Little move. Big jump. Not that big, but a little bit. That little ledge by the window might be the red line. I really don't know what specifically it was referring to, but I'm a little wigged out and going to try and jump out of there quickly. Whew. Okay. Now is where it's truly going to start feeling like there's there's actually some progress to be to be lost. <sighs> that was a lucky a lucky landing. I was pretty scared that I would clip the, the, the roof of that little house. Okay, staying in it. Mighty fling, gentle fling, cautious fling. <laughs> okay, little practice. It's probably worthwhile to try and do things precisely rather than just going for the all out all the time. I don't know, then you know the all-out one's unlikely to fail. But it might lure you into a little bit of a comfort zone, you know? I really didn't want to overshoot that. I gotta go see what this guy's up to. Glumph! Aw oh, man, look at him! <laughs> Wake up, Dumpy! Come on, bro! What is this, Modern Family? He ain't slimming back to life, is he? Sliming, Sliming. Told you not to climb up. Oh man. Oh, can I hit the bottom of that? I have to land on it as it comes. Now you look like Jello, bro. <laughs> Is this like a friend of his? Getting pumped through a sewer here? Dumpf, it's not funny anymore. Yeah, he's Glumpf and his buddy Dumpf is just a puddle. <sighs> These look like something I, I wouldn't be able to land on or interact with. Oh, that might have saved me a little bit almost. Oh, I'm probably, I should probably try and land on this, actually. Oh, oh. That's a little too, a little too close for comfort. Try to predict the full trajectory. I thought maybe I had overshot that. I doubt I would be able to land successfully on that. I like using that as a bit of a black backboard. <sighs> I guess that, I guess it didn't work quite how I had in mind. It worked once accidentally. That was just stupid. That was so stupid. Oh my god, I'm at the beginning. Oh, that really sucks. <laughs> Alright, let's see how quickly we can, we can get it back here. Speed is not my ally, apparently. Not not skilled enough. The majority of platforms you have to fling to are visible, except at the very top? Oh, come on. <laughs> There's gonna eventually be invisible platforms, though? What's that all about? I'm, uh, Nico the Sergal. <laughs> I'm no Nico the Sergal. I'm sure there's other people who have done, like, really spectacular speedruns. I, I, Set my mouse up really poorly there that I wasn't going to be able to do that how I wanted to. Uh, I don't know if he's a speedrunner, but I feel like he's one of the few I know who who played through Jump King to the to the end to its conclusion. I didn't have the patience. I haven't seen, but I assume uh, he would have also played this game at this point. It seemed like uh, he has a little more confidence. <laughs> And skill? Maybe no one's really skilled at this game type. And it's more just uh, about having the perseverance to keep keep at it. That was what getting over it was all about. There's all the motivational language about not giving up. 
seeing things through, becoming a better person <laughs> just by virtue of trying, trying again. This game so far, all right, that did kind of interfere a little bit like I'd been scared of previously, uh, is less encouraging. No, I thought, once I realized I had missed, I thought that little bit sticking out would save me. Man, that jump I've gotten really lucky with. I honestly don't think it's that guaranteed. And somehow it keeps working. Oh, yeah, okay. <sighs> Easy to overshoot. Just got it. Just got to plan it just a little bit. I'm going to wait for it to come back. I want my trajectory to be mostly upwards so that I'm, I'm not carrying on uh, a horizontal momentum more than more than is necessary that's gonna end up causing me to overshoot. See a little jump like that, nice and simple, I just want to do that again right here, mostly vertical, great. I can probably pull that off here now too, actually. Oh, kind of bounced back, not quite the way I wanted. All right, simple hop. <sighs> See, that works out really well, because even if I did overshoot, the moving platform should have picked me back up again. Would I stick to the slime? I waited for that to be in a place to catch me if that didn't work, and I'm glad I did. Little jump. Good stuff. I don't want that much horizontal. Oh, I cannot seem to get that one. That's been that's been the trickiest for me so far. Don't trust Hephaestus. He's the one who did this to my brother. So no no one's really fans of this guy, are they? Vertical. Oh man, the momentum of the platform that I'm standing on. Standing. I'm a golf ball. <laughs> Before I launch myself there, it throws me off. Come on, that was the one. I was pretty, it was pretty panicked, but I thought I could still stick the landing. I like when a game like this uh, pays extra special attention to like lighting effects and things. That was pretty lucky. There's so little else going on that it's like you might as well make sure those parts of the game are, are really polished. All right, I just got to do basically that same jump again. This seems tricky. Oh, I'm pretty obvious I overshot that. Lucky. Lucky landing. have a decent feel for that shot at least. Hi. Options. We got options here. Blast upwards. That one seemed the easiest compared to everything else there. I don't think I have to do anything with this little fly. Here's maybe where we start having alternate routes. Do you think that's like a lever? Oh, it totally is going to make something pop out on the other side there, isn't it? That's... is that on a timer? Or are those permanent? Oh god. <laughs> Nearly overshot that. I think they're... I think they're there to stay, considering the lever, like, entirely broke off. <sighs> okay. A little more. The mage! Is that anything I can land on? I... That's not going to do it, is it? <sighs> Burries, just laughing at me. <sighs> Evil needs no arms. I might be able to land on that. That's what my uncle used to say. I'm going to try. I sometimes miss him and his friend Bloke grew. Oh, the sign itself you can land on. Oh, my God. Oh, the chain is in the way. What the hell, man? Okay, I'm just talking to the skull. Oh, have you seen a pair of arms laying around? <laughs> Not at all, buddy. You're on your own. I got, I got other concerns here. The fact that you don't bounce off of walls. Mm, you do bounce a little bit. 
He bounced a little bit. <laughs> I was about to say that's like saved me so much. Oh. Shit. <laughs> that's so disappointing. I tried to chain together the two jumps really quickly there. I feel like the timing of these platforms suddenly changed slightly. No way. No way. <laughs> they used to be in sync in a way that was much easier to deal with. Come on, man. Oh, just, just miserable. If you master this area, you will always be, be a better flinger than others. Or you already are? Eh, always already. It's, uh, are we calling this a mastery? <laughs> I'm working on the upwards bucks. Okay. It's a little bit tricky. The game's not really on my side. In fact, it really wants me to fail. It wants me to lose my shit. Damn it. <laughs> you will never stop falling. Sooner or later, I will. Or, you know, if I fall a lot, then there will always be a ledge to, to catch me. Even if it's rock bottom. <laughs> At least it's not. I won't fall infinitely, Bucks, okay? Mr. Negative. Oh, that one. Why is that one so hard? Seen many platformers. The one with the red lines, they tend to disappear. Platformers, platforms. I haven't seen these red lines yet myself. Come on, just chain them together. <sighs> Busting out the jokes. J U X. <laughs> it doesn't, doesn't even make sense. I was just going based off the spelling of his name, but I think even that, <laughs> the logic doesn't check out. Would you guys think of that short little hop? Oh, I gotta stop doing that. <laughs> the two little short platform hops. <laughs> close together there. That's what I'm that's what I'm risking when I do that. I got to do them smaller, less risky. Oh, I hate that jump. That one stresses me out even if I have gotten lucky. This slanty bit down there is what's going to end up killing me there for sure. All right. We're oh dang it, not quite. <laughs> but the progress is decent. I'm gonna launch. Yeah. Do it again. Up and over. Kinda lucky. No! No! Come on, man. Oh, that was a stupid one. I'm risking too much here. But when you fall so far, you just want to claim back, get back what you had, you know? This is my, my power move. Slap yourself right into that rock there. Then you, then you can't fail. But you can. <laughs> it's just harder. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, those are some sexy jumps I'm chaining together. Ooh. <laughs> it's not going great. I knew it. I thought I was being fancy. Instead, I was just being risky. <laughs> oh, come on. I didn't know you could still roll like that, honestly. It's like never really happened before. The rock is on my side. Big jump. Overdid it. Can I land on this? On oh, the little sewer grate isn't isn't something you should interact with. What should I do now, man? Uh, cut your losses. I'm sorry, you're never gonna see your friend again. Whatever. Speedy, just get me back to where I was. That's the sort of confidence <laughs> that you think would help. <sighs> just trying to land on that block. Up and over. Decent. Restraint. No! No, don't you dare fall all the way back down. It's not funny anymore. Man, he's not coming back. <laughs> it 
It's a little funny for me, I guess. Uh, I, I, I don't want to do it from the back end there. It just makes it that much harder. <sighs> I've lost my confidence in that jump. I had it. I had it perfect. I got it every time. S suck it. <laughs> Now I'm, I'm going for the risky jumps. It wasn't even trying to do that. It just worked out. Less, less thinking, more action. That's a, that's a killer there. I'm lucky I didn't lose more progress. I'm hitting a breaking point here. Oh, you bitch, come on, man. <laughs> all right, all right. Straighten up. You can do this. Let's do one more confident run. I want to hear your insults. Tisk, tisk, tisk at you, Bucks, for never believing in me. I am mighty. I can fling. Oh, one more. <laughs> that was that was not the the fine final strong attempt I wanted it to be. So I'm keeping keeping it going here. <laughs> There's a very familiar feeling of this genre of game that starts to set in. When you've lost that progress, just uh, one, one too many times, and you start to feel a special kind of hopelessness. And I'm, if that hasn't set in entirely, I'm certainly near, near. Oh no, it's like the first time I missed that one after saying it so many times that it stresses me out that it hasn't gone well I'm this is the sprint <laughs> this is this is the sprint where I just don't even need to think about it just let my instincts take over and guide me this is the one the the all seeing all flinging unstoppable best that this little golf ball world has to offer jump to success just watch me chain together these moves with flawless precision and before you know it without a single other misstep or failure of any kind Except for those, a few notable exceptions. I'll be back on top. <laughs> Fuck you. Oh. There you have it. <laughs> Mighty fling. Oh, uh, I just... There's something about this type of game that I, I love and hate. I love to hate. Apparently, apparently, I love to hate myself by putting myself through it. I just don't know. Now and again, you just get on a roll. You just chain together some some amazing moves. Even though it's your first time seeing the obstacle, some sort of beginner's luck. You make it to brand new heights, and the next thing you can't even do the the opening area. <laughs> I'm not gonna be the one to beat this game, but I did think it looked fun, and I, I like. At least taking a stab at these and seeing the way people have tweaked this style of game just enough to somehow create a genre which doesn't even make sense <laughs> that this is suddenly like a common thing i'll have a link uh in the the end cards to a playlist i've done of foddy like games including getting over it that i've played uh there's a couple couple of them that are short enough i've actually beaten to not to toot my own horn, but majority of them is just my own uh, best attempt. 
as I as I lose my mind. I don't know why I torture myself. And apparently, now that I'm I'm less just I don't know less in the zone. Now that I'm just talking in this resigned fashion that I've already given up on it, suddenly it's the best I've done in a while. So I guess I'll just carry this chillax momentum. Whatever will be, will be. <laughs> I'm gonna do my best here. <laughs> Apparently I just had to tell myself, that's it. Throwing in the towel, who cares anymore? And now I can make my, make my glamorous valiant comeback and it'll, it'll be the best I've ever seen. Dang it. Okay. <laughs> I had a little, voice in the back of my head that says, well, if this stupid jump works, then I guess you take another attempt. <laughs> it's so easy to convince yourself to just do one more, one more little, little hop, little bop, see if you can make it work. Wow. Okay. All right. <laughs> I'll take it. That, yeah, okay, there's some, like, a, 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 I guess permanent unlock oh no 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 in the sense that I, I managed to open up these blocks it wasn't even that tricky to do but presumably there will be trickier ones that are a little riskier and those will have like th those long-term benefits of opening up areas I don't know if it's possible for the ball to fall down there it would be devastating if it were the case boo gotcha ah it's just little old me <laughs> I'd be quite upset, actually, if I never made it up to this one more time. So I'm glad, hey, we're ending things with a new high point. Oh shit, that one you can actually fall down. I don't really see how to do this. There's the mage. I thought the skull was the mage, honestly. Oh, you're kind of supposed to fall down that. All right. All right. Hey there. Oh, it's a Festus. Uh, most welcomed guest. The guy we're not supposed to trust. A Festus is very pleased to greet a mighty flinger TM. <laughs> Contrary to what people might think, a Festus loves company. Stay as long as you need, young ball. Be my guest. Be my guest. <laughs> well, obviously that's nothing. gonna drop there new new target of something new to work towards yep the you heard it here first the episode isn't ending so do I have to be speedy here oh god oh god no 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 no, no. keep it going keep it going. oh that, that now 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 I'm just doing that to myself I think I should probably not even have my mouse over by the ball so I have more room to make the the gestures that I need and like kind of prepare them. Oh yeah. Okay. That was pretty satisfying. That was cool. Say hello from me to whoever you meet on your journey. I don't know if they want to hear from you, man. Doesn't seem like you're the most popular guy out here. Me though, the the ball. Big big fan base. People love this this mighty ball. Oh, I didn't realize that was a thing you could hit your fall on <laughs> I, I don't think you can fall behind the sign there's that tiny forgiveness in this game um oh I was curious if I could end up oh no well that's where I'm ending it <laughs> I was curious if you could end up in between those two things and whether or not that would I don't know be a secret or something all right I'm glad we did that final push at the end there now I I feel much better about it all <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again. See you.